Once you have your two halves of your stool assembled and your four legs prepared, you can begin putting those together. You will need to get your dowel and cut it so that you have one piece that's 26.5 centimeters long and three pieces that are 3.7 centimeters long. Start with the long piece first. Lay your long dowel so that the end of the dowel is at 26.5 and go back to the zero on the ruler and make a mark. Again, it's important to have it as precise as possible. At this point, you will go over to the scroll saw and cut it. On the remaining part of the dowel, you will measure your three pieces that are going to be 3.7 centimeters long each. Off to the scroll saw. At the scroll saw, put your mark on the dowel so it lines up with the cut line on the table. Do your very best to cut straight through along the line. Once you've cut your dowels, they will look like this here, with cut marks and a rough end. We'd like to make them look like this one, which has been sanded with 150 grit to remove any of the machine marks and give it a nice clean appearance. In order to do that, simply put your dowel into the vise, get a piece of 150 grit sandpaper, use one of the square sanding blocks, and sand back and forth, keeping the block flat to the surface of the wood. Fairly quickly, you'll remove any of the marks from the scroll saw, giving you a nice clean appearance. Repeat this process for both ends of the short dowels and the two ends of the long dowel. Now that you have your dowels cut and sanded, you're ready to assemble. Notice that on the two halves of the seat for the stool, two of the seat supports are narrow and two of the seat supports are wide. We're going to begin with the narrow piece. You're going to take the long dowel and push it through one hole all the way through to the other hole on the other side. It should be a tight fit, which means you're going to have to fight with it to go through. A good way of doing that is to twist it and push it and just repeat that over and over again. You could also put it into the vise so that can hold the seat while you're using both hands to twist and push the dowel through to the other side. Now that you've got the dowel going all the way through both holes of the seat supports on the narrow set of seat supports, you need to take and check that it doesn't stick out past the side of the leg when you put it beside the seat support. To assemble this, it's important that you check that the angle of the leg matches the angle of the seat support. Once you've done that, you can put it onto the dowel and by rotating it up and down, slide it on so it's right tight against the seat support. Repeat the process for the other side. Again, checking the angle of the leg matches the angle of the seat support and connect those two together. Those on